Kodak Black gets shot at around 3 a.m. Monday morning. Only one that gets hit? His security guard in the leg. Me and the notification gang would like to invite everybody to come join us Monday through Thursday, 9.20 to 10 o'clock for Morning Coffee, where we discuss the events of the prior day and also just talk mess about stuff. See you then. Hey, little mama, it may be bigger than you, and it may be bigger than me, but it ain't bigger than you and me. Can you dig it? BBN, Jack Frost. Mike? What's up, party people? I right, so. Yeah. So apparently... Kodak Black has been shot at at a restaurant in Florida and his security guard was hit. Okay. So for everybody that don't know, um, just recently Kodak Black was, uh, he, he was locked up. He was in jail. He came out of jail. Um, he was pardoned by Trump, actually. I'm pretty sure everybody knows this. So he was pardoned by Trump. After Kodak Black came out, um, he did insist that he wasn't trying to get into BS arguments with people. He did, you know, he was like, there was somebody that was trying to get something going with him. And he was like, nah, it's not really nothing. And he's been for what it seems like not laying low, but avoiding the BS. Recently, well, actually, this morning on Monday, he was at a, I believe they're saying there was like a festival or something going on. Um, he was apparently leaving um, B B Baja Beach uh, Club in Pensacola on Pensacola Street. And while he was doing this, he was being followed apparently by vehicles. Now, just so we could be clear, we like sometimes you could be being followed, but you don't know you're being followed until the person actually does something. Then you're like, whoop, yeah, they was following me for 30 blocks. So apparently there was some vehicle or vehicles that were following him after he left the uh, bag of the Baja Beach Club on Pensacola Street. Kodak Black and his entourage then went to go get something to eat at on Dewey Street at a fast food restaurant. They went to go get something to eat. Kodak Black's uh, people block the entrance with the vehicles. I'm not sure. 100% what they mean by block the vehicles. I don't know if they mean block the vehicles like so nobody could drive into the into the facility or blocked like the access to the front door because apparently Kodak Black's team, you know, cuz Kodak Black was insisting on going inside. And not for nothing, um for a real long time I did not like using drive throughs myself because I want to be able to eyeball the rat bastard who makes my food. Anyway, so Kodak Black uh, insisted on going inside of the restaurant himself to receive his food. Um, just, okay, we'll get to that in a minute. So he went inside the restaurant. Upon coming outside the restaurant, the vehicle, which is believed to have been following them, pulled up and started firing. He started dumping on them. Now, hold on, just so we can be clear. The vehicle was at the scene when Kodak Black and his, his uh, entourage first pulled in to get something to eat the vehicle pulled off and they doubled back and when they doubled back they came back with gunfire kodak black's security guard was hit in the leg he's he they immediately rushed him to the hospital just so y'all can know I, I don't know how he's doing they're saying he was hitting his feminal artery they shot him and he was hitting the feminal artery so he was losing a lot of blood so they had to get him to the uh hospital as quickly as possible he went in one vehicle kodak black went in a different vehicle now uh, uh, this is something that i wanted to bring up about this real quick and this is uh the scary thing about when you're one of these rappers and you're out here beefing with people um some of these people that you're beefing with i don't know how serious all of these rappers are but some of these people that you're beefing with 
they not playing with you. Especially if you got a lot more clout than them. Yeah. They ready to come pull up on you and, and, and let them things go. Why not? So anyway, for everybody also don't know, this is something that I want to add. Kodak Black has actually been beefing with somebody in Florida. Now, with all this being said, I'm not saying that this particular individual is behind anything. I'm not trying to attach this particular individual to anything. I'm just saying the latest person that Kodak Black has been beefing with has been Southside. For everybody that don't know, I'm pretty sure it's going to be all in the comment section. He's been beefing with Southside. I know that people are going to say that, so I might as well just beat you to it. Um, Kodak Black apparently was saying uh young miami's name southside is dating young miami it was basically apparently saying young miami's name and bringing young miami up and southside did not like it much now with that being said we have no idea who the individuals was that pulled up on kodak black we have no idea who the individuals was that shot at kodak black no one knows i am personally not trying to attribute it to any person in particular let's find out more details and we'll see where we go with that but yes kodak black shot at i think they said it was like in the morning i don't know like three o'clock in the morning his his but one of his bodyguards was hitting the leg in the feminine artery that gentleman was i don't even know if it's a gentleman it could have been a chick i mean there are female bodyguards out here right i mean i don't know i've seen them in movies so the bodyguard got hit in the feminine artery in the leg the bodyguard was rushed to the hospital upon being rushed to the hospital um they had to get immediate surgery on them. Uh, for everybody that don't know, the feminine artery is one of those arteries that if that artery gets damaged, you will bleed out in a matter of moments. So, yeah, that happened. Leave it down below. I want to know what you guys think about this. Um, I want to know if, what you guys think about this specifically as far as do you think Kodak Black has been attempting to avoid some of the problems and some of the issues? Because one thing that I want to say is when these rappers are beefing with each other, they're a danger to society. They're a danger to people who just might be near them. Because you don't know when the ops might pull up and start, you know, shooting at them. You don't know when these things are going to happen. So maybe some of you rappers who know that you got people that you're going to shoot at. And you know that you got people that's going to shoot at you. Maybe stay away from the public areas. Because at the end of the day, it's okay for you to have problems with somebody it's okay for you to beef with somebody that's between you and them but once you go out into public in the public places and you know these are individuals that's going to shoot at you in public places understand that you're putting other people's lives in jeopardy now with all of that being said his security guard was hit his security guard this is literally i'm sorry to say but this is literally the security guard's job literally not even joking the security guard's job is to make sure that nothing happens to the primary Kodak Black is the primary. So therefore, the security guard being shot instead of Kodak Black. Shout out to Lil Boozy security. Because as far as I heard, they was trying to get shot. Like, not for nothing. Hold on. I'm going to say something. It's kind of funny and not funny at the same time. Um, when Boozy was just recently shot, his security, I guess, they was taken totally by surprise. They had no idea that any of their, like, that, that this was going to happen. But after Boozy actually got shot, from what I heard, his security, like, really put up a barricade around him to make sure that he don't get shot again. So, with all of this being said, rappers, when you're out here and you're beefing with each other, please lay low. Not for yourself, because I'm, I'm going to assume no rapper in the history of rap has ever been scared of another person. But for your public especially uh adoring public you know how this how different this story would be right now if when kodak black was out there and right before they pulled up to start shooting at him he would have had some fans run up on him and want to take pictures this would be a totally different story with that being said leave it down below i want to know what you guys think about this and definitely let's hope that the security guard recovers and gets paid not for nothing like is there like a, a a thing where if you're a security guy and you get shot is, is there monies that you should be recouping i mean i don't know let's hope that something good happens for that security guard and that guy's family nobody is literally going to get a job like you know what i can't wait to get shot this is not a thing anyway let me know what you guys think down below like comment subscribe join the notification gang Hashtag Bronx Bombers, let's get it. I love y'all. Take care of each other. Hug the kids for me. I haven't forgotten about you. 
And that's all I got on this one. I'm out. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you would like to help dictate the direction that this channel takes, please leave a comment. All comments are appreciated, whether positive or negative. Thank you very much and enjoy your day. And remember, positive thoughts cause for positive things to happen. Let's get it. Mike Chai Chai. Hey, little mama. It may be bigger than you, and it may be bigger than me, but it ain't bigger than you and me. Can you dig it?